on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. We're bringing you some sweet gaming PC deals from three different system integrators. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! Hello, everyone. I'm Brayerthorn. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we are still reeling from the revelations from the presentations made over at Computex in Taiwan, though many were done remotely and through pre-recorded videos and still the spirit was there. Though they didn't announce any new desktop GPUs, AMD had a fantastic, fantastic presentation. And uh, though Nvidia also didn't have any uh, new desktop GPU announcements, they had a, they had a presentation. It was uh, really nothing, nothing very interesting at all, unless you're very much into AI or servers. Most people were watching it for news on the new 40 series desktop GPUs from NVIDIA, which have been rumored to be coming out in July, which is a little over a month from now, potentially. And um, no, they didn't feel like sharing anything with us. In fact, they felt like talking about AI and servers for most of the presentation and then spending the rest of it talking about 30 series, which in a few months will be two years old. Seriously though, AMD had a great presentation. They were talking about Zen 4 and the new um, AM5 socket, the new platforms, you know, X670 motherboards. It was fantastic. You may have noticed though, like I did, that they had no talk about really 3D vCache, which was originally talked about as a Zen 4 technology, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, you live and learn and the 5800X 3D taught them that temperatures are a thing and they couldn't really overclock it anymore. And overclocking is kind of a Ryzen thing in general, having unlocked processors that can be overclocked. So we'll see how it all how it all shakes out, but everything's looking really exciting for that. And I would totally understand if you're watching this video thinking I should probably wait for the new stuff that's coming out in three or four months or so. Nvidia not announcing new GPUs though, wasn't a big surprise for me actually, because I think Nvidia doesn't like to share the stage and the spotlight. But yes, there are rumors that the next GPUs from NVIDIA are coming out in, in July, being released in July. I don't see it happening considering nothing was announced at Computex, pretty much the big show for this kind of thing, but we'll see. Now, before I continue, I have a message for you from past me. This episode of System Integrators Weekly. What is that? Have you not activated Windows, really? How do you deal with this? Look, I, I know you can use Windows without activating it, okay? I understand that because retail keys for Windows can be really expensive. No! But you don't have to get a retail key for Windows. The sponsor of today's video is CDK Deals and they offer OEM keys for a fraction of the price. Like seriously, I've even got a code for you guys, Bray25, where you can get an additional discount over their already discounted price. I mean, skip going to Whataburger a couple times and, uh, you can pay for your Windows key. In any case, it may seem a bit weird that uh, because I cover pre-built PCs, I have had for the last, what, more than half a year, I've had CDK deals as a steady sponsor and supporter of the channel. It may be odd because system integrators usually will provide a Windows key for you when you buy a pre-built PC or a custom PC built for you. However, there are a couple of options, like uh, say this one right here, Build Redux, uh, where you can go remove OS, no software support, or you can go with, um, Ava Direct and, and the second page you can choose, it actually by default has no operating system key and it costs you at minimum $106 to get it. When you could just spend around 15 bucks and you're activated, you get all your customization options, no more watermark showing, you're done. Awesome. These are actually for OEM keys. Now I keep saying OEM, what does that mean? OEM means that it is not like the retail key where you can use it on multiple computers because it's a key that's locked to your Microsoft account. An OEM key is locked to your computer that you use it on. So yes, that means that you can't use it on the next computer you get, which you do how often? Right. So better to just get an OEM key, spend your 15 bucks and you're on your merry way. Something to keep in mind is these guys, Ava Direct, will install Windows on your system, just not activate it. And they'll install Windows 11 home. That means when you go to CDK deals, Dot com through the link in the description to go get Windows. Make sure that you get the key for Windows 11 Home. Whatever key you get from CDK Deals needs to match the operating system that you have installed if Windows is already installed. If it's not already installed and you need to get 
Windows to install it, go to the link in the description where it says, here's how to do it, because I made a whole video on how to download Windows Media Installer and run the install, and then use CDK Deals to activate it. So once you've gotten it installed, you just go to CDK Deals through the link in the description here, you buy whichever one is appropriate for your operating system, use code BRAY25 to get 30% off. That's a discount over their already discounted price. After your purchase is complete, click view keys slash codes. Click get the key and copy it. Then go to your Windows search bar, type out activate and click activation settings. My Windows install is already activated, so I'll be replacing it, but yours should just say activate Windows. Paste in the key, click activate and you're done. Thank you CDK Deals for continuing to support the channel. Thank you past me. Now, let's get back into it. So you may recall a few videos ago, a few System Integrator Weekly episodes ago, I talked about uh, Paradox Customs, a company that I actually first encountered over at PAX East. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the PAX East coverage. If you haven't, check out the playlist, which I'll link right here. And uh, there's some really cool interviews there, really fun stuff. But I met I, I met Paradox there, I met, and, and uh, it was, it was a cool interview and a company I hadn't really heard about before because they don't really advertise like you normally see. Ooh, you have a big package for me. I do. Come on in. Yep. But when I checked them out, I commented on the um, sparseness of their website. Basically their website looked like a fancy email ad rather than a website that you could actually do anything at. And, um, but they were they already had something in the works. There's a whole new updated website and we're gonna check them out later on in the video. So do not miss that and uh, be sure to stick around. We're also gonna be checking out some stuff over at SkyTech real quick and over at Ironside, we're gonna take a, a deeper look into some of the offerings they have because they haven't really gotten much coverage around here, even though they're part of Operation Code Brayathorn. So um, did I mention, did I mention that? Have I ever mentioned that? They are if I haven't mentioned that, by the way. Now, I do wanna mention really quick that I am not going to be streaming very likely on Thursday because I'm gonna be heading up to Dallas for, for DreamHack. So expect some really cool coverage of that. And I'm going up with my buddy Blastin. We're gonna have a good time up there, um, checking it out and getting some, some, uh, some good content for you guys. And if that doesn't make sense to you why I'm saying that, it's because I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday over at twitch.tv slash at around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. So let's get into this right after these disclaimers real quick. First off, this video is being filmed for uh, May 29th, 2022. Any pricing and availability that you see here may have changed by the time you see this, and that often does happen. Uh, the next one is that you're gonna hear a lot of opinions. That's normal, and don't be afraid of opinions um, because they're, uh, you have them too. The opinions were inside you all along. We can share opinions, we can disagree politely. It's a great time. Uh, feel free to do so in the comments below. Let me know if you disagree with the assessments that I make here uh, and come into the stream, talk to me there. Come into the Discord. The links for all of these things are in the, in the description below for the Discord, for the stream, all of that stuff. And the Discord community is super, super rad. You should definitely check it out. And of course, the final one is that you buy at your own risk if you buy anything in any industry of any type. You buy something, it can get damaged in shipping or it can have issues down the road. Um, every one of these system integrators does have a warranty, which I will go over for you. And um, just to let you know what kind of coverage you can expect, um, just understand that it's, it's sort of part of it. Things can go wrong. These are delicate systems with a lot of components and things can happen. Uh, just know that I generally don't talk about a company unless I've heard that they're pretty good about that. Although when new companies come in, we're learning about them. To start this off, I do, I wanna make a mention of SkyTech first, because SkyTech is currently having a price drop on a specific Prism 2 system that has proven to be pretty popular. This is the Prism 2 that features the uh, Intel Core i5-12600K in the Fantex Metallic Gear Neo Cube. Um, this comes with 360 millimeter AIO to cool that 12600K. That's overkill for that completely. So that's not a bad thing. The Neo Cube is obviously very O11 dynamic like. So you're gonna get that dual chamber setup. Now, if you're looking at this pricing in $2,700, wow, that's, that's a lot. Well, this is a DDR5 system and it comes with a 3080. So 32 gigs of DDR5 memory instead of DDR4. You have that option with Intel 12th gen. It also has a Gen 4 one terabyte drive. As I mentioned, that RTX 3080, the 10 gig version, very nice. 
750 watt power supply should be, uh, I, I would want 850 here just because that 3080 can power spike. Transient power spikes can be a problem if the 12600K is just turbo, turbo, turbo all the time and there's no headroom for the 3082 power spike. It is to spec is what NVIDIA recommended for the 3080. So, I mean, I can't complain too much. I would just prefer to see a little bit more headroom in the power supply here. It comes with a one year parts, labor and shipping warranty. So that means that it's not just parts and labor covered in that one year. Um, you can get also shipping back and forth covered for you if there's any issues that you need to RMA the system back to SkyTech. So um, this is a fantastic system and this is not the final price either because if you want to, you can go ahead and put Brayathorn as a coupon code and actually get a lower price in this of 2618 before taxes and shipping if you're in the continental US. There you go, it is free, free shipping in the continental United States. So suggestion for SkyTech, you guys over there, um, put something maybe here at checkout or, or in the cart to make that two or three years of warranty. And I think that you would find a lot of people will go for that because the pricing, as I recall, was quite good for adding parts, labor and shipping for two or three years total. And that's pretty nice to have all three of those things covered rather than, you know, so many years labor or so many years parts and shipping for the first 30 days, whatever. It's a pretty solid warranty when you consider all of that is covered for the entire extent of it. Uh, that's the, a quick thing I wanted to show uh, for SkyTech. And don't forget to use code Braythorn, gives you a solid discount. And thank you uh, to SkyTech for offering that. Now next, we're gonna go to Paradox Customs. So if you guys recall, the site was uh, very nice looking with the animations here and with like, you got the glow in the dark plate here on the RTX, you got Todoroki's doing his thing. But then you were like, oh cool, let's go. Powerful, elegant, unique, all right. Um, be, this wasn't here before. Custom builder, view parts, request form. Let's take a quick look at the request form because the request form was just, hey, name and email and then yada yada. So it looks like it's pretty similar. So if you're gonna do a request form still, uh, Paradox, I do recommend that you have fields for all those different things. What will the PC be used for? Um, what kind of games do you play? Because if someone's coming in playing Cyberpunk 2077, versus some coming in playing Rocket League, that's a different build. It actually is, it makes us—it makes a pretty big difference. Or hey, what resolution are you gonna play at? 1080p, 4K, that sort of informs the GPU you, you, that you would wanna suggest for them, that kind of thing. Let's go, uh, let's go back here and we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the custom builder. Now what you got here actually, before you even get into the custom builder, some featured products, and you'll notice pretty much all of these are Ryzen systems. Anyway, some pretty good deals here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the custom builder and see how that turned out. So it looks like we got some, this is basically gonna say, here's where you start. And it looks like it's mostly centered around the case, the enclosure that you're gonna get. Uh, now I see the deep cool, is that Mac cube or McCube? Uh, that's their budget one. We're gonna take a look at it. Uh, and then we'll take a look at this Fantex P368. Now, if you are wanting an ITX system, they do have the mesh licious, which is, a red case with a weird name. So here we have the um, the McCube uh, with fries. And uh, what we did was we swapped it out for, be, before it came with some Ryzen parts and I did what I do and swapped it out to currently anyway. I'm not an Intel fanboy. They're just currently better. And so here I swapped it out with an Intel i5 12400, six cores, 12 threads, amazing gaming processor, more on the budget end and uh, better at multitasking than the 12100 would be, which would be cheaper, but you know. Looking at the processors available though, Ryzen 5 5600X, 5, 5800X, 12400, 12600K, and 12700K. We're going with a pretty basic Intel B660 motherboard. No, it can't overclock, but then again, neither can the processor. If this is the only motherboard you can get, I seriously don't recommend getting a 12700K, even though it is an option here. Now the 12600K can be beneficial, even though it has a K on there, and you can't use that with this motherboard. The 12600 non-K loses the four efficiency cores, whereas the 12600K keeps the efficiency, gets the efficiency cores, and you can still use those even if you can't overclock your processor through the traditional means. 16 gigs of RAM, 3600 megahertz, CL16. This is very fast memory. A one terabyte NVMe. This is not what it came with by default. I actually swapped it up from the 
uh, 500 gig because I don't think 500 gigs is enough. But uh, getting a one terabyte should get you going for a, while, a little while at least and adding storage is super easy. Now, uh, let's talk about the GPU. Why did I go with the 2060 when there's a 3050 right here? Well, the 2060 is faster, which is why it's $25 more, especially for the 12 gig version. This is 12 gigs of VRAM like the 3060 does. You can go in here and pick whichever GPU you, fits your budget. I'm just showing you what I did. 2060, still a great card, 750 watt, Bronze power supply, this came with a 600 watt bronze power supply. Not sure why bronze is the only option, but sure when you go with a higher end build, you'll have higher end options. Um, Windows 10 Pro already you know, activated and everything is just default, you can't change that. And then here is the warranty and you can choose one, two or three year warranties. Now one thing I wanna mention uh, real quick here, something that I, I, I would uh, wanna note is that it's it's uh, talked about in here talking about the deep cool uh McCube, which is spelled differently here which one's the real one either way um it, it's, a, it's a new site there's gonna be growing pains i get that i'm not criticizing i'm just saying like oh, that's that's weird that's all um that this mentions support for up to six 120 millimeter fans and up to 280 millimeter radiators in top or in front and all of that so my note to you there would be if you're going to tout how many fans can fit in here, then I would suggest giving the option to add fans. That's that's it. I would just say, hey, you want to add some fans? Cool. You want to be RGB or nah? You want white or black? Just throw that in there somewhere uh, so they can actually maximize that. Although it does give the option for the customer later on to add their own fans, which is fine. And it, it's good that the info is there saying, here's what kind of upgrades you could do. Anyway, just a note right there. Anyway, this system comes out to uh, 1325 after all the changes I made. Let's move on to the mid-range one right here. So this one is in the Fantex P360A. Love this case. It's very highly reviewed by Gamers Nexus. And I just swapped out some parts here. I'm actually not sure if I can share this build with you. So basically, you can pause the video here, look at the parts I chose, and copy my homework. How about that? Uh, but this build is coming in at 1885 with the changes I've made, coming from the starting price of 1740. This has the uh, 12600K, right? That's a 10 core processor, six performance cores, four efficiency cores, and uh, amazing performance out of this thing. And uh, this has got a Z690 DDR4 motherboard. I found something interesting here. Um, you can literally pay an extra $100 for nothing, apparently. Uh, I have no idea what this means. So we have a 250, 240 millimeter, looks like a generic uh, AIO. Actually, it looks very similar to the Corsair one, but you can upgrade to the NZXT Kraken X53 or the uh, Z53, which is the same, but it has a little screen. Uh, now this one, I went 16 gigs of RAM, same RAM as before. It is DDR4, even though it's 12th gen, because we're looking at like a, a, a mid tier system here. Uh, one terabyte. M.2 drive, they give you the speed, 3,300 megabytes per second, probably read speeds. Now, we, I did move up to the 3060 Ti here. They are charging 675 for this part right here, which is not egregiously over MSRP there. Um, and 3060 Ti is an excellent GPU, and I feel that it's well worth going from the 3060 that it came with originally to a 3060 Ti. That jump in performance is, is quite nice. 1440p gaming, this system, all day. 750 watt gold power supply, fully modular 750 GT from EVGA. Here are the options you get for GPUs, down from a 3050 all the way up to a 6700 XT or a 3070 Ti. You can actually save a bit of money, get the 6700 XT. Let's talk about it. Between the 3060 Ti and the 6700 XT, the 6700 XT in raw performance will outperform the 3060 Ti. Why do I always recommend the 3060 Ti then? Because it's a better, more well-rounded card, also, if you like ray tracing at all, or the thought of ray tracing, the 6700 XT is not the choice that I would make. If you're gonna, if your only concern is gaming, and you don't care about ray tracing, pick this right here. That's the deal. If you're thinking you might wanna do streaming, uh, or if you wanna try, if you wanna have ray tracing, and the DLSS is great, you gotta go with this. And if you're gonna be doing any streaming or content creation, you have to go NVIDIA. I'm sorry, it, it, it is just overall better. That's uh, pretty much the build and it comes out to a price of 1885. Let's do their 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 high-end build here, one of their high-end builds with the O11 Dynamic Evo, one of my favorite cases. I really wanna get my hands on one of these. So we're actually gonna max this thing out and I do love the Evo in the Snow White edition. Okay, so we can change this out. Let's go with a 12700K processor. Now, 
Why 12700K? Why not 12900K? Well, if this is a gaming PC, the difference between a 12700K and a 12900K is negligible. You're talking, depending on circumstance, about two to three percent because they have the same number of performance cores, eight, for both of those. It's just that the 12700K has half of the efficiency cores, four instead of eight. So for gaming only, the 12700K is amazing and also for content creation. Let's be honest, it's still really good for that, but the 12900K trumps it in that regard. Kraken X73, we'll see what options are there. Let's look at what options are on the motherboards. Any brand name ones? Yes, indeed. Look at the cooler options. I'm just trying to go through this kind of quick. Um, you can go with the RGB one if you want for an additional $80. If you're gonna have only one option for RAM, this should be it, because this kit is sick. Uh, now it looks like they're wanting to put in Lee and Lee Unifans, the SL120s. Now I don't see the AL120s, that's a bit disappointing because I would I, I personally prefer those. Uh, one terabyte M.2 drive, a little shy for this, for this, for this high-end one. So we're gonna go with this two terabyte Gen 4 drive. And then here, power supply, 850 watts. Well, we don't know what GPU we're going with yet, but we're gonna go ahead and move to the 1000 watts because I'm pretty sure we're gonna go for something beefy. This has already got a 3080, so I'd go for the 1000 watts anyway for getting a 12700K or 12900K. They will straight up paint GPU fan shrouds and all that. I mean, they do that. You see it in the first, the first thing you see when you open when you open up the, the Paradox Customs website. On this build, comes out to 3545 with all of these awesome parts in here. This is pretty damn good. Having the right hardware is only the first step to maximizing your gaming experience. Here at Paradox Customs, we offer optimizations that will significantly boost your computer's performance. It includes Windows tuning, GPU overclocking, CPU overclocking, diagnose and solve PC issues. Well, if someone's buying a new PC, I think that last option there shouldn't be on that list. It shouldn't be shipped with PC issues that need diagnostics. Um, the rest of it, there are several system integrators who will offer this service where they're like, hey, you got this hardware, do you want it overclocked by professionals or do you want to mess with it yourself? That kind of thing. Paradox, awesome job on getting the configurator all set up, adding tons more stuff to your website. Really happy to see that. Um, and of course, the website's one of those things, it's like a project car. It's never done. Uh, <laughs> it's never completed. So um, I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff that y'all are adding and all that. So um, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. So we're gonna go back to Ironside. We talked about Ironside a couple of times. I, I don't know, I don't feel like I've ever really done them justice. These guys have been around for 11 years. They've been building some of the coolest PCs. They're uh, amazing, awesome people, super nice people. And uh, honestly, if I didn't have DreamHack already coming up and then potentially something in Dayton, Ohio in July and just all these different, little, just, that's just a little thing. And then PAX West in September, which has been announced recently, uh, I would definitely be driving up to Austin already to go and hang out with these guys, take footage of the shop and, and, and show you guys around, do some interviews on site. I just haven't gotten to it yet. If you go to Ironside's website, you're gonna see stuff like limited edition PCs. If you go to desktops, you'll see limited edition, you'll see masterworks, but what we're looking at and what I usually go for, although the masterworks and limited edition builds are so nice. I usually go to Forge a PC so we can do a custom one here and you'll get your Intel and AMD options. For Intel, you'll have um, Intel uh, standard desktop platforms and then their Intel X series CPUs, which are gonna be older, pretty old at this point until, unless Intel decides to come out with more X series. And then AMD socket AM4 and socket STRX4, which is your Threadripper stuff. So you can get some pretty insane builds out of these guys. I can't wait until they have 5,000 series uh, Threadripper stuff. But what I did was I go here, I go to customize through Intel here, and then I did a build for bronze, silver, and gold for these three standards here. Okay, first off, we've got our bronze build here, and it's a pretty good one here. Now, one thing to understand about, uh, about Ironside, they are a boutique builder, okay? They've been doing this for a very long time. They have one of the best warranties in the industry with five years labor, three years parts warranty being the default that can be increased to seven years labor, three years parts. Now, we can talk all day and speculate as to build quality and things like that. That's why I'm having them send me systems to, to actually evaluate them myself. But when they send them to me and I'm not doing a secret shopper thing, there's only so far we can sort of trust that, right? That's why we have the Discord community. Join that, look in the rigs chat, talk to the people there. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of people in the Swarm Discord who have purchased pre-built PCs and can give you feedback on those companies. I forget reviews. 
you get to actually talk to people rather than someone going on the internet and posting whatever the heck they want. Moving on. 12400, as I mentioned, it's a great processor. Uh, this actually has a 120 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, B660 chips, chipset motherboard, 16 gigs of DDR4, 3600, uh, one terabyte M.2 drive, 3060 Ti, paired with a 750 watt power supply to power that and the 12400 and the rest of the system. Fantex P400A digital with three RGB fans included. Uh, you can go into aesthetics and go into additional case fans and add in two RGB fans for the top, for exhaust if you want, and that is $28. So components, uh, all I went through those already. $17.15 is the price, and I think I changed something that changed the price. I think I added those two fans. But let's look at what this costs with my discount. Ironside has provided the highest discount for a Brayathorn code uh, of any system integrator. And uh, the problem though, is that their, uh, their system automatically doesn't allow it to be Brayathorn. It has to be Iron Brayathorn. So when we apply that, it actually takes a full 5% off the whole system. And you can imagine how much that will scale if you go with a really high-end system, which we will be looking at here. $16.29 after an $85 discount. I gotta show you guys the warranty options, five-year parts warranty. That's gonna be here under services. Services, you can get a couple things. Like you can get a repair shipping coverage plan where uh, you can have a year of repair shipping coverage both ways for $19. Five-year labor, three-year parts warranty by default. That is solid right there. For 99 bucks, you go up to six years labor, four years parts, and for 199 total added on, you get seven years labor, five years parts warranty, just like that. It does not scale up with the price of a system. That's just what they do. This is the Intel Silver system. Same case because it's already a great case. They do have a lot more case options here, um, you know, from the ones with very little airflow to ones with a lot of it. Now this one's gonna come with a 240 millimeter radiator, which, which will be mounted in the top of the system as exhaust, so you don't really need to add any fans. Three intake, two exhaust, positive pressure system, very nice. Uh, Z690 chipset DDR4. Now if you look here, there are brand name motherboards between from MSI and ASUS. Um, I think this is a, is a fine setup here. Now this may not have Wi-Fi included, but they have the option for Wi-Fi uh, down here to add internal wireless AX 3000 megabit per second, which guess what I did? I did that. Now going here, we have a two terabyte gen four drive, two terabyte, not one terabyte, which is what the SkyTech one had. So that's double the storage for your primary drive and you can add more later. Uh, 3070 Ti, not a 3080, I know. However, if you're gaming in 1440p, the difference between the 3070 Ti and 3080 is not as big as you might think. 850 watt, 80 plus bronze power supply, because again, there is no 850 watt, 80 plus gold for some reason. Like, it was forgotten. And uh, yeah, there you go. There's the system. Bam. Done. What does this come out to after the discount? $133 off. Look at that. 2672 goes right down to 2538. And we are going to the... Gold build now. So this one I went went ahead and went with the O11 dynamic. This build is going to be more expensive. Obviously, it's 4160. This one is going to be a really high end build. Okay, 12700K. Remember what I said about the gaming processor thing. If you're mostly gaming, that's all you need. This has a 360 millimeter Acer Tech all-in-one liquid cooler. I do want to make a note about liquid coolers like that, all-in-one or closed loop coolers do not require maintenance. So if you're thinking I don't want liquid cooled, I don't want to have to change out the liquid. Good because you don't. This one's using the ASUS Prime Z690A DDR5. So we're going DDR5 here, one of the reasons for the cost jump there. 32 gigs of uh, DDR5 4800, that is two sticks. So you're, you're, that's what you want pretty much with DDR5. But yeah, it's there, they have DDR5. Two, uh, two terabyte Gen 4 drive is what we went with here. And uh, 3080 Ti, 1200 watt 80 plus platinum. This has got the works. Also in aesthetics, I went in here to the additional case fans and uh, added six fans here, plus you can get three with the all-in-one liquid cooler. And if you look here, the warranty price does not change. $199 for seven years labor, five years parts on a $4,100 system. $208, bringing this down to $39.52. It's one of those things where if someone gave me a budget of like four grand and I got something like this, I'd be like, yes, just hit that budget. You know, just got right under it. I love doing that. But right there, there you go. Code Iron Braythorn gets you that link for this build. If you're a higher, if you're looking for a higher budget build, will be in the description. And if you want, you can change the case for a different case. And for um, for both Paradox and Ironside, you can generally make requests for specific components if you want them. 
It just means it'll take longer and you need to pay the difference. That's it. That's my last build for you guys today. Now, I do want to uh, give a shout out and a big thank you to everyone who attended the uh, two year anniversary stream I had last night. Well, I say last night, I mean Friday night, um, the uh, 27th. It was amazing. It was such a good time. And I had so much fun with that. Thank you so much. If you want to see what the changes that were made, come by the stream tonight. It, th I'm recording this pretty late in the morning, actually. So this, probably this episode is going to be late, I imagine. So it might not be at 8 p.m. Central. Look more for like 8.30, 8.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. Come hang out and tell me it's okay that I was late because these videos take time to get together in a single day. Thank you, Cuddles, for all the work put into that. And again, congratulations to all the people who won for the giveaways from that from that, uh, from that, that stream. It was a lot of fun giving away desk mats and, and stuff like that. So um, that will do it for this video. I can't wait to see you guys again. Come on back next week. We got more content coming and this Next weekend, DreamHack, baby. It's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait to hang out with the Intel peeps over there and uh, maybe meet some of you guys. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, you know what? Hit me up on Discord. Let me know. You know, We'll hang out or something um, if there's enough people or just come over to DreamHack and hang out there. All right. Until next time, take care.